Okay, good morning, everyone. Let me know if everybody's there. Um, I'm not going to do CVS today because, wait, I'm just not. Um, WBA is going to be hard because it's just going to be, it's going to be like, uh, what should we call it? Like the chewy. And I, I'm not sure if I want to contend with that. It's, I think we're finally going to get the sell off in the market today. So let's watch this for a few minutes, but it can't go over 46. And if we do it, we got to get out really fast really fast Let's do 80 by 80. This doesn't hit, I'll flip over to the market. If we get a late entry in the market, that's okay because I think the market rolls over today. 80 by 80. Target's 44. Let's do 90. Do it. Do it right now. Get the stop at 80. And again, you have to have the stop in with these. 44 here. 80 is going to hit. There it does. We got to watch 44. We just got to pay attention to this. We have to pay attention. Fast exits. And I have a class today at 11, so I can't, I can't be trading all day. And it's exhausting anyways. That's what we've done for the last few days. Actually, I want to look at the market quick, though. Yeah, market's finally going to fall today. It just doesn't want to, though. But it is, so. WBA, if you want to be in it, you got to be in it. In fact, let's watch 44.50. The way things have been bouncing lately, I think we have to watch every single number. 44.60, 44.50, 44.25, 44. We go WBA. Here we go. I'm glad this cooperated. Here we go under seventy. Let's look at the cues. So it took two weeks, two weeks for the market to fall. Hard to believe, but nothing should surprise us anymore, really. Honestly, nothing should surprise us anymore with anything. <laughs> not the news, not the market, not anything. And data this morning was mixed. So the current data was negative. The revisions from last month were better. So it was, it was mixed this morning. Here we go, WBA, WBA, here we go. Here, yay. Here. Hand in the button here for one more push so we can get it down, but you could absolutely just be out of this here. The way things have been so jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Nine thirty-three. Here. Here. Oh, come on, where did that go? Thirty. 35, <gasps> hold on, here, this is it, yay. See if it breaks 20, yep. This is jumping, 17. 
Mm. Crap. Did anybody get out there? I knew it was jumpy. I knew it was jumpy from trading this before. <sighs> Crap. I'm sitting right here paying attention. I mean, it's the way I, I knew this was jumpy. I knew it was spready. I knew it had machines in it. I mean, you literally just have to hit the button. No, oh, I didn't get out. It's unbelievable. We got the market with us today, though. Carrie got out. Wow. I can't imagine you got a good fill. By the time that bounced back up, it was immediately in the 40s. Well, we got the market with us today. I wanted a fast trade. I had it. Didn't get out. See where this goes. We could have done this too, but WB set up and we did it. But we're going to fall. This is just. See how it does want to fall, does want to fall, does want to fall, but it is going to fall. So it is extremely tricky. Actually, we could have done the cues. <coughs> I think the cues would have been easier. All right, I'm going to get out of this soon. Maybe we can get this through the low, get a better exit here. You could do the cues today as well. I don't want to mess around with more than one thing. Again, I have a class today and and if you don't even want to hold this through you could get out of this just right here i mean again we got the market with us so i think it's fine but that bounced back super duper quick it's like an apple oh, that's falling today and this is getting picked up here again which is good Okay, here we go. Back down around here, under 40, WBA. Nice day, and we're back in a groove. Tomorrow is April 1st, and I am very happy about that. We're having a good end to a month that was very, very choppy. It's just the best way to describe this month. 42, And this Goldman, every day it sells off and it never really gets going. I wish it would sell off today. Wish it would sell off all the way down to 330 and fall off a cliff. Really wish it would. Well, our earnings season starts not next week, but the following week. So you'll be back before then, Jackie. Trying to be a little patient, 939, 939. <sighs> what was the other one? TPX, gyro light, let's see what that did. 
This is lower, but it's not lower right now at the second. What happened to the Chinese stocks? Baidu trying to break. Baba did fall. Uh, look at this thing. <gasps> oh. Uh, three dollars. Look at this, Baba. After the other day in this, I just didn't want to tangle with this today. Here it's going. It's finally going today. Can you believe that thing? All right, so one person got out of this. Everybody else is in it. We're waiting. Very jumpy. I think it's going to go down to 44 and break it. So we'll see. But now we have to be patient. Uh, let me second check and see if we have any data. I think everything's out. No, we have one thing at 10, no, 945 we have one thing. And 1030 we have one thing. We do have two things. But tomorrow's the big day with the unemployment number. Although I really don't know if the market's going to react to that. It's, you know, again. Here we go, WBA. Oh, what happened to CBS? <sighs> yeah, it's then. Here goes the market. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's count the days this took to fall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, it took 12 days to fall. And it didn't fall off a cliff yesterday either. While we discussed that there was a possibility that it could have, it tried to go, fell, tried to go, fell, tried to go, fell, didn't wanna go. Gap down this morning was good news for me. Let's just sell off to start out April, shall we? And we're in this, but we have the market with us. CVS does have volume now. I just think there was other stuff to look at. Again, I was looking at the SPY, but to be honest with you, I mean, if I didn't have a class today, and if I wasn't exhausted from trading all day the last two days, I might do this. But it's just like, I mean, I mean if you want to do this, you can. <laughs> you, you can. Put this stop at 367.80. It's, it's already going. It's $2.70. and seventy cents. It's basically an all-day play into the close. I just, I have a class today, and I'm exhausted from trading all day the last two days, and we need to get back in a groove of doing what we do and what I do so well, get in and out quickly, and even though we missed the first exit on this, we're going to get this down again. And we had a good entry on this, too. Oh, Jackie did the cues as well? So you're in two things now. All right. Netflix is going to go. I'm so happy that everything looks good today. I'm just ecstatic. Every chart finally looks good today. Let's just get going here. Here we go. WBA. We can't miss our exit now. One more push down. I'll be happy with an exit in the 20s. But so far, this is following through. 17 was the low, impossible to get out there, so we'll see where this drops. What you could do, if you want to, you could put the stop, break even, I'm not going to. I'm just giving you ideas here if you want to tighten it up. When we're done, we'll briefly talk about the market, and then everybody go.
That's a good BA. This is gonna fall too. What is it waiting for? Here goes Facebook. <sighs> Hard to believe anyone's gonna try to buy this here, but you never know. 9.45, could the buy the dippers come in here in the next 10, five, 10 minutes? I don't know. Hard to believe anyone will go along there. So hard to believe. But you know the way those people do it. You know the way they do it. 43. Hmm. Let's look what we have out for tomorrow. While we're waiting for this to go down. I think we're going to be fine with this trade. Oh, we just had the number. Tomorrow is April 1st. And it's 30 some degrees in New York. <laughs> Doesn't feel like April yet. Nothing tonight of interest. Let's look at tomorrow morning. And nothing at all tomorrow. Crap. Well, it's good we have this today. I don't know if we're doing anything tomorrow, people. We can talk about exits tomorrow. I said we said we could talk about exits. The next day we don't do anything. But man, are we gonna have to be strict and strict and strict tomorrow? I didn't see snow in the forecast, but I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised at all. This looks fine. And this looks fine too. You know what? I didn't even pay attention. What did the Fed guy say yesterday? Did anyone pay attention to that? Market was falling and I didn't really pay any attention to it. I was focused on what I was doing. What did what did they say? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's look it out. anything here couldn't have been anything if it's any significance because we didn't really have any wild reactions up or down 
I mean, it'll be really interesting to see what the unemployment number is tomorrow. I'm sure it's going to be same or what they expect. It's not going to be worse. But again, it makes no sense when you look at what's happening in the world as a consumer. The only conclusion is like Jeff, what Jeff said the other week. People have just decided that they don't want to work anymore and then they don't account for those numbers. People are just saying, I don't want to work anymore. <laughs> it's bizarre. So I'm in this and I'm waiting. If it flips over the high, I will get stopped. I will have missed my exit, just like I did on the AA the other day. Nothing I can do about it, nothing at all. Moved against me too fast, and that is life. AMD I did not even look at. Did that gap? Why did it gap? And I didn't get in the market, but it is very tempting. Yeah, this moved. Didn't look at it, didn't even notice it, didn't rate it, didn't do anything with it. Although I don't think I would have done this over WBA, to be honest with you. But this is a very nice move down. So all of these things are probably headed lower as a result of that. I have to look at when NVIDIA earnings are. Really, we could have done BABA. I mean, that's been, I've been watching that, watching it. But then after, again, another one just didn't want to break. I think we're gonna get this down, but it's not moving fast now. So let's just go over it. Fast exit was the drop right in here where you could have gotten out here very easily, actually. I think this is where, Carrie, you were saying you got out. This looked great, though. Got the drop, it just flipped too soon. Again, we could have exited here in the 40s, but then we could have exited here, too. I think it continues. We have the market on our side. Again, are people gonna try to attempt to buy this market for some kind of pick-me-up here? I really don't know at this point, but it, it would happen in the next 10, 15 minutes if it would. I don't think we're gonna flip. There's no indication that's gonna happen, but people just don't wanna sell out of this market. So many people long, again, 11 days up, they don't wanna sell. They think the market's going back up to the highs right now. I disagree, but until we really start to sell off, we don't know. It was a good sign that we fell yesterday. It was a good sign that we gapped down today. It's a good sign that we're still red and it's 9.52. Tomorrow there's nothing. So we, we, we probably aren't doing anything tomorrow unless something dramatic happens in the market. There's nothing to even look at or rate. Hmm. Come on, WBA. Come on, Bootsy is right. Come on, Bootsy is right. Oh, I asked my friend, I was like, how long did Bootsy live? 19 and a half years in people years. So that's a long time in dog years, 19 and a half years. So what is it? What do you times it by seven? How do you figure it out in dog years? 19 and a half people years. Yeah. Hmm. 
It's a long time. <laughs> well, that's what she, she, they used to carry her around. Towards the end, she 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 couldn't walk. They would they were carrying her everywhere. They were that's why I was I was saying about going on the Bootsy rides in the car. They they were carrying her. Every, every, like she couldn't she couldn't walk anymore. They were just carrying her everywhere. Yeah. Here we go, WBA. Come on, Bootsy. They used to take her out and put her in a they used to, this is I mean this is a million years ago when they had bicycles with those baskets in them. They used to put her in the the basket in the front of the bicycle and ride around the neighborhood with her in it. <laughs> they probably don't even sell bicycles with baskets like that anymore. <laughs> yeah, they have dog strollers. I've seen people in New York. I've seen them on the street with dog strollers. Now, that's a lot easier, I think. I don't, I don't know if they're specifically for dogs or if they're baby stroller, strollers that they just put the dog in. I don't, I don't know, but I have seen them in New York. If I had a dog, that's probably what I would do. <laughs> to be honest with you, that's probably what I would do. I would be so scared that my dog would, would step on something, like a piece of glass or get dirty feet or step on something and get hurt on the street. They, I've seen dogs walk with those booties on, but I don't think those booties really stay on their feet well. People do spend a lot of money on their pets. I mean, this Chewy, this, has, this isn't even 10 years. Like, when, here, this is falling today. Look, beautiful move today. Yesterday it was very difficult. This, this whole idea of this, this isn't even like, I don't even know if this is five years. When did this first come out? When did they go public? 2019. With the rise of the internet, as human beings, our consumption, <laughs> we, we, we consume so much. We consume like to the max. We consume information. We consume news. We consume products, food, alcohol stuff everything we're we're just like as a society we we're just it's just become such a society of major consumption literally it's almost like overload really Okay, WBA looks great, but we did miss the first exit. I think we're gonna be fine. We're still up in it and we're waiting. Jackie did the market, did anybody else? We don't have anything tomorrow. We don't have anything tonight. And so the only trade we're gonna get tomorrow would be something market related or something that happens that we don't know is gonna happen. news or a downgrade or an upgrade or something like that oh i know what i wanted to look at oh here goes here goes wba i wanted to look at lulu nope it's down today shucks we could have we could have done that yesterday kept going back and looking at it, looking at it news probably down today it failed yesterday let's look at that yeah look at this yeah, this is down today. Ugly setup here. All right, we're back to the WBA. 34. Did anybody get out down there? Could have got out at 30 something. At least it's behaving now. It was really jumping early on. are just lower can you believe that anyone would buy the 
this market today. I, it's just, I, I, it's hard to believe, especially going into tomorrow with the unemployment number and all the data out tomorrow morning. But I like the gap down today. Nope, we are gonna sit here and wait this through. <sighs> Any questions from anyone about anything? Don't have anything to go over or talk about right now. Everybody's in it but one person, I'm, I'm thinking. Yep, pretty boring afternoon, I think. The one number at 10.30, nothing going on today, and then all the stuff tomorrow morning. That's it. Well, yeah, I should have looked at Mew. That was, that was hard, though. That was really hard today to do. to do the market. So Jackie's the only one that did this, huh? Oh, Carrie did the cues? Yeah. I think I'm going to get out of this in the 30s if it doesn't break that area when it goes back down there. Well, for two reasons. One, I have a class today. And two, I just don't want to deal with this anymore. Not that this doesn't go down to the lows. Not that this doesn't keep going, but it's frustrating sitting here waiting. But the market is helping us today. Heck, nothing looks strong today at all. Even Apple, which has been super duper strong and almost got up to the highs, selling off. Let's check out Netflix. Yay. Whew. Everything looks so good. So I, I don't know where we end up for the week, but the reality is we really had a very choppy two weeks, two and a half weeks really. And it's hard when you see something and you know that you're right to hold the conviction, but every single day I kept double checking, triple checking, 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 checking. And it just, I never saw that it was appropriate to go long. Anything, really. We might be going long at the end of April, beginning of May. There might be some things that turn this market around at that point, but I don't know. Some of these things, the last earnings they had, Facebook, Netflix, they're disastrous. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. One day this will fall.
Well, Chewy was... I, I, I don't regret not doing the Chewy again. Those of you that stay with it, it, it did drop, but that took forever, too. That took forever, too. That was nerve-wracking, though. There was some news I read this morning. Now, I don't remember where I saw it, about Biden opening up the oil reserves or doing something again with... I, nothing that they do is going to fix the problem. I think that's why it was down. Now it's lifting. I mean, they canceled all those pipelines with the permits for the pipelines. They're not going to change their mind. They just did it. So all of that's a band-aid. Let's not miss our exit on this. 30s, 20s, anything I'll take here. <laughs> so nice to have an easy day. Jeez Louise. So do we finally get to the area that we could have got to yesterday, today? Maybe. The sooner the better. The sooner the better. 10.06, still early. The sooner the better. Um, again, this remains to be seen. I'd say 365, it already got there, it really was the first target, but you didn't enter this early because I, I talked about it late. But really, 365, could this go to 360 today? Maybe, but again, it's gotta keep going. I think 360 is perfectly a reasonable number today and not even a dream target. But look how slow that this is dropping down. And it is because people are buying it. It drops down, they buy the dip. It drops down, they buy the dip. It drops down, they buy the dip. That's why it hasn't sold off like a hotcake yet. It is, at least it's peaceful. <laughs> Should we play some relaxation music? <laughs> what's, the, what's that app? Calm. Then we'll fall asleep. We don't want to fall asleep in our trade. <laughs> it's peaceful. It's so calm, it's not moving. Oh yeah, that's a good song. Sailing by Christopher Cross. That's a nice song. Sad news about Bruce Willis. You know what, my... Favorite, favorite, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite shows is Moonlighting, which really catapulted his career. And then he did Die Hard after that. And I would love if they would do like a TV marathon in that show. You can't, you can't find it anywhere. Like they never have the reruns. Sometimes there's old show reruns, you know, of, of all kinds of different shows, but I've never seen a rerun of that on TV. Not for like 20 years. I'd love if they would do a marathon on that. It was a great show. And isn't it interesting how one person goes on to be huge and Sybil Shepherd, her career kind of never went anywhere after that. She did, I think she did a couple of Lifetime movies. She was a good actress. Her career just never, never took off after that. And Bruce Willis's took off huge. It's just so strange. It's a great show. I loved it because I love murder mysteries. Like I like Murder, She Wrote. So I liked that and it was funny. And the two of them, it was just a great, show and how many years let me look she was a model before she got on tv though her, it did it didn't her acting career didn't go off after that let's look up how many how many years yeah it wasn't all long 1985 to 1989 